Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Charlotte and I am a fourth grade science teacher in Arizona. And today we're talking about energy. So this week we are starting our energy unit and it is actually Thursday, so I'm starting a new unit in the middle of the week. I don't really care. I don't usually do that, but I have got to keep moving because I have five weeks left starting Monday and I have to push through. So this, uh, these next two days, today and tomorrow, we're gonna be studying the different types of energy. And I did find a really cool resource that I've absolutely been loving this year. And it's from Teachers Pay Teachers and it's called Science Doodles. And I believe you can find them at mysciencedoodles.com. I will put the link to the TBT store down in the description, but I'm absolutely loving her little pack. So essentially what it is, is like doodle notes um, and it comes with like some labs, it comes with uh, task cards, it comes with vocabulary pages, it comes with foldables, and I'm just loving it for all of my like pre-teaching stuff. So um, if you guys are science teachers, you probably know that you have to really focus on vocabulary and basically new information and a phenomena. So um, what I like to do with my teaching is I like to do a few days of introduction. So I do vocab, I teach the phenomena, or I teach you know, the scientific stuff. I don't know how you would word that. Um, I'm not like a super mega scientist yet, but that's the goal. Um, this is my first year teaching science like by itself. Usually like in the past, I've had like 20 minutes every two days to teach science. So it's never been done right. Now I get to do it right. And so I'm learning new things and it's all very exciting. It's also a lot of work. So anyway, I'm on a tangent. So I like to teach vocabulary first for the first few days and teach how everything happens, the phenomena, investigation, stuff like that. So what I found with this resource is really cool. So she has a weekly warm up for all of her units. This unit is just energy. So the kids would do two questions a day. I'm gonna have my kids do all of this tomorrow as like a little mini quiz. And then they also come with vocabulary pages. And these are cool because they come with different uh, variations of the page. She has one that has only the vocabulary word and a picture done and then the definition is blank. She has one like the one I'm holding that has the definition but the vocabulary word and the picture part is blank. She has one that has just the vocabulary word and the definition and the picture's blank. So it comes with a lot of different variations. I personally like to give them the one with the definition. They write the word and they draw the picture. And then I also have them highlight keywords in the definition. So um, like the word energy, the what is needed to do work or cause change. So I would have them highlight the word work or change. Um, and then what we're also gonna do is today, we will do a foldable that looks like this. And it's just a really nice, um, easy way for them to remember the different types of energy. So mechanical energy, electrical energy, light, thermal, and sound energy are the ones we're gonna focus on and that's the keyword melts. And then on the inside, they open it up and they glue down all these little examples of the different types of energy. And I love these because they're like hand drawn. So I could totally get away with pretending they're mine. I'm just kidding. The kids know I can't draw to save my life. And then the pack also comes with task cards. Everything's hand drawn, which I kind of like. I like that vibe. And um, so what I plan to do is just post the task cards around the room and have the kids do rotations. And then Monday, we're gonna start on electrical circuits and how uh, energy is transferred through electrical circuits and electrical currents. So same thing. I always print the one with everything on it for my notebook, so for reference. And then this one's cool. It's like a super cool foldable. They unfold it and it has all the information. We fill this out together. So all of this on theirs is blank, except for like the boxes and some of the drawings. And then they draw. And then they'll do some observing of circuits. And then I, actually, I have circuit kits. So I actually need to go shopping. I probably should go now. Um, down in the science room. I could show you guys what that looks like. Um, and I'm gonna find some more circuit kits because I do have a couple of complete ones, but I don't have enough for every team. What I'd like to do is have one for every two people, 
but if I can't, I can at least get one for every pod. So I only need five circuit kits, which means I only need four. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go do this morning. And then I come back, drink my coffee and get the day started. Hi, Jeannie. Good morning. Nice wee baby. I usually take her out in the morning um, and she hangs out with me, runs in her ball, hangs out on my desk. And then as kids come in, if I notice that they're being quiet, I will pass her from table group to table group so that they can have fun with Teeny. So anyway, I'm gonna go and find those circuit kits and I will see you guys in a second. Place is fun. Oh yes, here we go. Okay, this must be them right here. So I know I'm gonna need these for sure. And wires. This, this is what I'm looking for right here. These. All right, I'm gonna do a little shopping and then I will catch up with you guys. Let's show you what I got. Okay, so this is what I went and got. I think I might have to do another trip. We'll see, I'm gonna have to divide everything up and see what I have, but I got a bunch of these. These are the connectors. Um, it's where the wires get put and then batteries and then a bunch of wires and these come with you know all that stuff there's some i'm gonna have to look through this and see what i got but plenty of goods hey everyone welcome back so it is now 11 15 the kids are out at lunch they're right down there and i'm just gonna go through all of the supplies that i pulled from the science room and just kind of go through it, see what I have. I did find six of these, which I think, and I know I'm gonna need a few more. I think I'm gonna need at least, let's see. I have enough for each table to have one. And I think I personally might have a couple more of those, but I know that each team is gonna need like at least three of them. So we're gonna see. Um, I also have a bunch of these. So I'm gonna just, kind of go through these and see what I have and kind of make piles. And then that way I can organize and count and distribute how much we need and kind of see if it's gonna be like an every pod gets one or every team gets one. I would love for every student to get one, but I just don't think I have enough. I have 20 students in each class. So if I could muster up 20 circuit kits, then that would be great. But if not, they can at least do it in pairs. Oh, look what I just found at the bottom of this. Oh yeah, we should have enough circuit kits for every, at least two people to make one. So um, we found some of these little clippy clips here. Oh, right on. And then a bunch of these. So this should be perfect. Um, there's also like a ton of extra wire in here and um, the super cool um, multimeter. Awesome. I don't think we're gonna use this at all. We're probably just gonna use these and make um, series circuits and parallel circuits. If you guys teach fourth grade science, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So um, again, I'm just gonna try to kind of separate these into uh, kits and see how many I have. Okay guys, so this is what the notebook ends up looking like at the end. So on the left here, we have a weekly warm up. So the kids will do a question every day. This week though, we're gonna do um, all of this Friday, so kind of like a review. But next week, the kids will definitely do one section per day. And then over here, we just wrote obviously the definition of energy and then the five that we're focusing on just this year. So obviously, um, and a quick little explanation, moving parts, electrons moving through a circuit, light rays, transfer of heat, and then air vibrations that we hear. And then on the inside, they chopped up all of their little items and glued them into where it made the most sense, uh, what type of energy is being used. Some of them obviously work in different, um, can go in multiple, but we had a discussion of um, which goes in which. 
And then they also filled in these ones. So I gave them the definition, they filled in the vocab word, and then they drew a picture to represent the word. So um, that is what we did today. And then the kit that I bought also comes with this really cool energy charades game. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is hand out a few of these cards per pod and they're gonna play charades. So they have to act out the item on top and then their teammates have to guess what the top is and what type of energy it's using. So um, that one's kind of fun. And then tomorrow we will also do these energy task cards. So I will just place these around the room. I need to tape them probably today before I leave. And then um, they'll do these task cards and then we're gonna watch the Generation Genius video on energy transfer so they can see that. And that will be our day tomorrow. So charades, task cards, and the energy video from Generation Genius, which we will watch first, that way there's time for this. Um, so that is our day for tomorrow. I am like mega exhausted. I feel like I'm going a thousand miles an hour. Um, but what I'm gonna do right now is, so the pack that I purchased, which I will have linked down below, came with a circuits lab, which I love. So it comes with this lab and it has the directions, um, things to complete, creating circuits, drawing them. So once they create it, they have to draw the circuit and then, um, answer the questions at the bottom. So I do have all of this stuff ready to make kits for the kids. So I think what I'm gonna do is put everything in a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna focus on doing one for each pair first. And if I have enough, then I'll split it up into 20 separate kits. But I think I'm gonna stick to two just so that they have more batteries, they have more lights, they just have all around more materials to have fun and explore with. So that has been my day. Poor Tina. She, um, so the kids can purchase time with Temple Tina for 10 uh, minutes and it's like 20 dojo points. And then, so it's the last 20, uh, 30 minutes of the day, there's three separate um, groupings. So they get 10 minutes each and a thir a three different um, 10 minute sessions, I guess. And they get to hold Tina and they sit in these chairs and she just kind of walks back and forth. Oh baby. So she just got, I feel bad because she's usually sleeping and I always feel bad because I have to kind of like wake her up and pull her out. Um, and it makes me sad to do that, huh baby? I love you. I love you too. Where you going? Huh? Where are you going? You can come home tomorrow? Tina does come home with me on Fridays. Oh, hi. Hi, sweet girl. You just want food, huh? for a scratch. Oh. Here's my baby. <laughs> Tina, we haven't had much time together today. I've been so busy. I rub her. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tape those task cards around the room. Um, and then I do have a quick to-do list of things I need to run to the office, which I'm gonna try to do. I actually should probably do that first because they leave long before I do. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna run some stuff to the office. I have to do a Stuco meeting minutes for a PO that I need. And then I'm gonna have the office lady laminate these for me for next week. These are the circuit task cards for next week. And then I will come back and any time that I have left, I will tape those task cards around. And then that is the end of my teaching day. So um, Scott's off tonight, we have t-ball practice. I'm gonna go to the gym 
and then I will see you guys in the next vlog. So thank you so, so much for watching and for joining today. If you guys are not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram. It will be linked down below. And uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.